Yeah. Mr. Peckinpah, I have some information in regard to your late, deceased, murdered partner. Who is it? My name is Fanula Omakushla. Can we meet on the set of Melbourne Musos, Facebook Live at, say, six o'clock? All right. What time is it now? It's time to parrot it all. Bring your trench coat and drumsticks. It will be a long night. Oh! Ooh! How's everyone tonight? My name is Seamus O'Malley. Private Dick. <laughs> Who would you call it? The city morgue. We figure you saw the bullet coming. Who would you call it? The, the city, city morgue. morgue. We figure you saw the bullet coming. <laughs> Every detective joke under the sun. This is a loving homage. Hello, camera one, two, and three. Mwah. How are you all going? My uh, my actual uh, bogus name is Chris Quinlan, and this is Melbourne Muso's Facebook Live. <laughs> And I thought I'd do a little bit of a detective thing with a wonderful homage to the cheap detective. I'm a sucker for detective stories. And the joke. dedicate this show to one Sandy Nelson again and his wonderful feel of which the two feel reign supreme I'm going to do a bit of detective work on his beats because God bless him he passed away um, just earlier this week Monday in fact I think and I've already done a show on Sandy Nelson just a little while ago with Surf and Paradiddles. So I won't spend as much time because I've already done I've already done it. I'll be reading the same things with dear Sandy Nelson. But the thing that rings true with Sandy Nelson is when I was coming up, and it's the common thing, I'll say it again for the sake of the show, is, um, you know, Dad and I'd go off to some barbecue somewhere and um, then Dad's mates would find out I'd started playing drums. And the thing that I always got was, can he play like Sandy Nelson? So what I got from when I started that. And Dad would always say, I don't know, I wish you'd stuck with violin. You know, eh, like that. So, you know. And one of the things about Sandy Nelson is his wonderful two feel. Now what happens is with a two feel, it really is going for a walk on the pedal. So you get that right, left, right, left, right, left. See, that's what goes on. Ready, Steve? Oh, and yeah. Okay. Right, fellas. Go. Oh, you could do that all night. Oh, my Lord. Eh. There you go. Now, there's a couple of things I'd, I'd like to go through with this. Is uh, in coordination land, what happens is um, the easiest way to get started is think right side, left side, you see? So you could have uh, right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. It's, hopefully it's that easy, so you get. So it's just right. 
Right, left, right, left. Effective, I would think, and uh, I'm not going too fast. I hope. And what it is is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And the reason it's called two feel is because when you're doing bum, 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 it's minims one, two, three, four, one, two, three, which is different from the four feel. There you go. And the ever-present hi-hat on two and four. So what you have is that you have uh, this right. And then double tap. got now is uh, right hand and with your feet you're still walking right left right left right left keep it going put in the left hand Lots of things like that, you see. So what I'm doing is the detective work for you. <laughs> Who would you call it? The city mall. Oh, you figure you saw the moon coming? Hey. <laughs> what a line. So good, I've stolen it many times. <laughs> uh, but what goes on is you get that going. Now, you probably notice I'm doing a little bit of a splash hat there. If I play it a bit harder, I get the bottom jingles going there. The old hi-hat tambourine. Uh, I got that from uh, John Henry Bonham many a year ago. Not the actual tambourine, the idea. I don't bought one. Except this fairly straightforward, you see. So what goes on is I'm started off, I'm going to go through very quickly with you. Uh, what happens, you just get right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Put the right hand on a four tone. Eternal right, left, left. Keep the right hand going. One tap in between. Double tap. So 
that's what you've got, you see. I'm tending to be fairly bluesy, the old uh, gumshoe kind of... Who knows the uh, wonderful uh, cheap detective with Peter Falk last week? Push the button, Max. Peter Falk as Max. And tonight, I thought that got me going. I said my other favourite film with Peter Falk, not Columbo, uh, but um, The Cheap Detective, 1978. There's a bit of an all star cast. Very funny film. I loved it. I still do. There you go. And Lou Peckinpah. Is it? Now what I'm doing. Hey, uh, a bit of a paramadoodle, mate, um, on the old... Uh, but on Okay. I just had you on my mind. Georgia. What's no kid? Floyd is dead. Hello, yeah. it's Georgia. No, we have good. Floyd is dead. Shot in Chinatown. I talked to the police, Lou. I think they know about us having an affair. <laughs> Why did they leave your apartment? They didn't. They're standing right, right next, next to me now. Listen. Georgia, I guess I had you on my mind. Cheap and nasty, just like the film, it's beautiful. Bum, 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 bum. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now is explain what I just did. I was doing the two feel. And then what I did was bring in the paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And you get that going. So... Three kinds of paradiddles for those who don't know. I think there's very few that doesn't know them, but you've got the single paradiddle. <laughs> then you have the double paradiddle, and what happens is uh, you have a para and you have a diddle. And then what happens is uh, you have right, left, which is para, diddle, left, right, left, left. So you get right, left, right, right. It's mnemonic, use phonics. Uh, para, diddle, para, diddle. There you go. Para, diddle, para, diddle, para, diddle, para, diddle. Then you have a double para, diddle with two paras. Para, para, diddle, para, para, diddle, para, para, diddle, para, para, diddle. There you go. So you go. Triple, three of them, three paras. Para 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 diddle, para 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 diddle, para 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 diddle, para 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 diddle. Terry Bozio with the biggest drum kit that needs its own postcode, which I say nearly every week, so it's getting a bit tired even with me now. Anyway, what goes on? When he came out to Australia uh, in 1998, I might take the the uh, triggers off for a second there. He actually finished his gig with uh, what's known as a paradiddle pyramid. And uh, that's where you get the... Um, 
wax on, wax off, grasshopper. You know, that kind of thing. And what he did was he hit, uh, he really hit every symbol he had, right, left, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, you see. And this is the single, double and triple. And I do a little exercise. I got out the mallets. I, I dropped out the, uh, I dropped out the um, uh, triggers. And I just do this. Uh, that's a single, very soft. And right, left, right, side, left, side. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. Got it? Good. Uh, two weeks ago, Court Chester. Okay. Right. Um. There you have it. So you get this kind of right left with your three paradiddles there. Now I might hold on to the mallets for this. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through what we call paradiddle inversions. There are four basic uh, ones. One is the basic, so you've got your single paradiddle like that. Now it's a little bit like if you're going to count to four, start from two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Or start from three. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, etc. Uh, you could go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And what's happening is in guitar land, or uh, piano land, these are called sequences, you see. And uh, even with scales, if you start on the second step of a scale, it would be called the Dorian mode, you see. And that's where our modal plane comes from, all our different kinds of sound. Because I'm the Irish detective tonight, Seamus O'Malley, I can safely say to you that the fifth mode, the Mixolydian, is used a lot in Celtic music. You see. And what happens is when you're doing the two feel, which is the main theme of tonight, is you get that. There's your single paradiddle. So you've got three sounds on the hi-hat, by the way. I thought I'd do this as an aside. You have your normal uh, chick. There it is there, if you get it under the threshold. Uh, you can have a splash by just a, like that. And then if I play a little bit harder, that kind of thing, I get the tambourine coming in. So I do all three for colour, you see, so. Now I'm just thinking groove, a little bit of an accent on the left hand. Basic paradiddle. The right hand on the tom tends to accentuate the rhythm of it. And immigrant song Led Zeppelin 1970. Done in a different way, of course. Now, Let's start from the next right hand, which is the diddle, right? Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Get it? Got it? Good. Now, what I just 
did before is the reverse paradiddle. Slow it down. You see, so it's, it's almost like diddle para, diddle para. You see, so you get that now. If I start on the next one, you have a uh, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So when you're dealing in groups of four, what starts to happen is that the double tap is on the outside. And that's why it's uh, lovingly called an outwards paradiddle. So you get this kind of... You see? So you get right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's an outwards, you see. And then after that, what you've got is the uh, inwards, which is very close to a calypso. There's your calypso beat. And then when you start with that one, it's just starting on the last right hand. So you get right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Yeah, there you go. So there's a little bit of uh, what I was uh, talking about last week, a little bit jungle drums a la Louis Belson and things. Now, here's a little thing from last week. Louis, I, Louis Belson, the wonderful jazz drummer, um, figured fairly large, a bit of a large portion last week. And he was one of the first drummers with uh, two bass drums. And, uh, you know, well before the double kick pedal and all that invented, you had to have a, a second bass drum. And um, one of the things that I talked about was his time with Duke Ellington. And um, he, they played fast and furious. They were fantastic. Now, here's a little bit of a, a theorem, okay? I'm not saying it's a fact, but here's a bit of a theory. Because, because he had the two bass drums, he could do like a four feel, but as a two feel. Like he, instead of going... And after about an hour, your foot's falling off, you know, that kind of thing there. What would happen, as I said last week, what would happen if he just did a two feel but on two bass drums? So there it is. I've got the other one over here. Different sound. Now here's a premise for you. What happens a lot these days is that you can straddle pedals. You can play two pedals at the same time. This is my left boot. Here's my right boot. That kind of business there. Now, how would it be if Louis, we're on first name basis. <laughs> Uh, what happens is, what happens if Louis Belson did a two feel? Can you hear the four feel there? And with a hi hat on two and four. So, right, left, right, left, right. Left. happens is um, maybe Louis did maybe did things like that so it'd be oh 
I'll slow it down on behalf of Sandy with the great group. Let there be drums. Right, left, right, left. Two feel, but it's coming out four feel because I'm straddling my left shoe. There it is there. I'll show you with this one. Hey, there it is there. Hey, oh. So right, left, right, there. Baby, that bow, the bow, bam, 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 boop, 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 There, there you go. Now, because I'm talking about Sandy Nelson, I'm going to go to it. You've got the, uh, what am I looking at? Ah, nearly there. All right. So what we've got here is Sandy Nelson. Uh, he passed away on St. Valentine's Day, aged 83. There you go. So there it is. Now, I've done this before. I did this with Surf and Paradiddles uh, not too long ago, but... He just passed away this week. So I'm going to do a little encore. Please bear with us all who loved him dearly. Okay. Nelson attended high school with Jan Berry and Dean Torrance, who later became recording stars as Jan and Dean. Uh, in 1959, Fowley... Oh, Kim Fowley, um, who's a fairly uh, controversial figure in rock and roll. But uh, in 1959, Fowley produced Nelson's first recording, Geronimo by the Renegades, a band made up of Nelson, Richard... P Podolor, Bruce Johnson and songwriter Nick Venet. Although the single flopped on the national charts, it charted in some of the Midwest markets. The song featured in the 1959 film Ghosts of Drag Strip Hollow. There you go. Look that one up. Ah, the old drag films there. After gaining respect as a session drummer, Nelson played on several hit singles, including the Teddy Bears. To know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. Ho, ho, ho. The Hollywood Argyles, Ali Oop, and Kathy Young and the Innocence of Thousand Stars. His instrumental recording, Teen Beat, on Original Sound Records, rose to number four, count them, on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1959, sold over one million copies, if you don't mind, umpire, and was awarded a gold disc. And on it goes. Then he pounded out two more top 40 hits of what he's best known for us, Let There Be Drums. I just played a bit of it on the... Snare with no snares on. That's usually played on a tom-tom, but I had the triggers on, so there you go. Now, here's the big thing. Uh, near the end of 1963, Nelson was in a motorcycle accident. The injuries necessitated amputation of his right foot and part of that leg. Nonetheless, Nelson continued to record into the early 1970s, releasing two or three albums a year, consisting of cover versions of popular hits plus a few original compositions. Now... That's a big thing for anyone, but imagine losing um, your bass drum foot. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at just, just got that power. And you, so, you know, all the little, you know, sort of needed to be relearnt or a different way of playing needed to come up. So, what would happen is you, like, imagine that, but, you know, you just sit on that groove and. So you get that beautiful groove all the way through. So when it goes like that, ah, there you go. I hope you get something out of that. I better make a move, I suppose. So what I'll take you through everything. It sort of is a, a kind of a thing for Sandy Nelson, the two feel. I was going to do it anyway, but he's passed away. So, um, and I've already done a tribute 
to him, which I uh, put up when I did the thing, you know, homage to Sandy Nelson the other night or other day. Uh, but then I wanted to do something slightly different in the sense that I took you through the paradiddles. Single, double and triple. And then you've got the inversions. Basic, reverse, outwards and inwards. Um, in my book one, uh, which I put out in the 90s, um, as far as I could work out, um, I, I just was getting a little frustrated at the fact that they're such a common thing, but they weren't in any particular book that I could find. There was, uh, they were in the stick control book, uh, which I put, pardon, put up the other week, uh, and that, but they weren't named, you see. And you need to know the language. If, you, if you're in a drumming or a drum line or whatever and you just say, ah, this one's a double reverse, everyone knows what to do, you know? That kind of thing. It's a language rather than, oh, it goes like this, or whatever, you know? It's like scales, you know? Blues in A, man. What's that? Can you tap it out? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Bye, audience. <laughs> nice seeing you. <laughs> At here. Anyway, so what happens is to finish off uh, is that uh, what you do, it's a common language of the drums, you see? So. And I couldn't work out why it wasn't, you know, really set out in the early days. So, you know, that's what I did with that. And, uh, and then uh, what I did in the book was put every version. And because the double paradiddle is in 3-4, you've got two extras. And because the triple paradiddle is essentially twice as long as the single, you get another four. So there's a whole bunch of them. And what ends up happening is that you, um, when you're getting into paradiddle work, you don't necessarily need to nail the bass guitarist down and saying, is that a triple outwards or a double reverse or whatever? Nah, what happens, he might be going, he or she might be going, bum, 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 So you might go, bum, 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 bum. And it might not be any of them, it might be just mixture, just for the riff or whatever, or the groove, but it's the the facility that the paradiddles give you that gets you there to be able to, you know, realise your dreams. And there you go. With that, I'm out of here. My name is Chris Quinlan. This will be up later tonight. Probably tomorrow, actually. And to feel paradiddles. Sandy Nelson, and that's what you've got there. Um, and a little bit of um, hi-hat business as well. And I hope you like it. I'm out of here. Don't be angry with me, Lou. I had to see you. They brought Floyd's body home. I just couldn't <laughs> sleep in the same bed with him. Not tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. Oh, it's the all-night widow shop. Okay, my name's Chris Quinley. This is Melbourne Musos. Facebook Live. And I'll have this up tomorrow, as I said. And take care of yourselves. Density limits are off. Go out, see bands and stuff. Put a sticker on your looker. And away you go. Whatever. Take care. Hey. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm out of here. All right. This is definitely our last day, Georgia. Find answer a few questions downtown, Lou. We are downtown. This will be fine. Floyd Merkel was killed at 1017 tonight. Where were you? I was home in bed. I got up around 1015. I went to the yard. I got out around 1020. What did you and Merkel argue about last Monday night? It's all right. <clears throat> Tell them, darling. Don't call me darling in front of the police with a dead husband. I didn't like it that he was taking on clients without telling me. That's what I told them, Lou. I didn't mention anything about him busting in and finding us in the gorilla costumes. Yeah.